First of all, thanks for coming. And uh, uh, three basic messages. That's why I am here today. Uh... Imagine the Colosseum without gladiators, the circus without the lion tamers. Tennis without Rafael Nadal is a similar spectacle. Incomplete, unimaginable, heartrending. The titan of tennis courts, Rafa Nadal, is on a stopwatch that nobody wants to hear ticking. Ladies and gents, hold on to your hearts as we explore the countdown to Nadal's retirement, an event that threatens to conclude an era that has graced the tennis world with unparalleled passion and skill. As the famous poet Robert Frost once said, nothing gold can stay. A sentiment that is all too real as we reflect on the imminent departure of Rafael Nadal from professional tennis. The news that Nadal might be hanging up his racket next year has hit us like a backhand smash, leaving a void that even an ace serve might struggle to fill. And as always, if this video serves up some tennis joy, volley that like button and backhand to subscribe for more ace-worthy tennis content like this. More than 90% of you amazing spectators aren't subscribed yet, so give it a like and let's get you on our tennis-loving team. In the sometimes brutal ballet of tennis, injuries are frequent uninvited guests. Even the mighty Nadal, known for his tenacity and endurance, hasn't been immune. Picture this, January 2023, the Australian Open. Our hero is battling it out with the spirited Mackenzie McDonald, American tennis hotshot. It's the second set. A ferocious forehand takes Nadal wide, a little too wide. Suddenly, there's a grimace, a pause, a moment of uncertainty. The notorious psoas muscle, tucked away in the lower lumbar region of the spine, decides to steal the limelight. The pain, Nadal confessed, was not a stranger. It had been lurking in the shadows for a few days, just waiting for its moment. And oh, did it make its presence felt. This unwelcome pain, however, didn't merely bow out after the spotlight. Like a ball boy after getting treated like trash, it decided to stick around. After the Australian Open, the Muscles' rebellion forced our King of Clay into a reluctant hiatus. Initially, the tennis world held its breath for six to eight weeks, a period that has now stretched to a worrying 14th week. Despite the best of medical minds, despite following every doctor's decree, Nadal's injury, much like a stubborn mule, refuses to trot along the expected path to recovery. The result? A series of no-shows that read like a list of who's who in the world of tennis tournaments. The Rolex Monte Carlo Masters in April? Check. The Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell? Check. The Mutua Madrid Open? Check. And, most heartbreakingly, the French Open? Check. First thing, uh, not able to, not gonna be able to play in, in Roland Garros. Now, let's just pause a moment and let this sink in. A French Open without Nadal. A shocking first since 1998, the year the iconic duo Federer and Nadal started gracing the Roland Garros clay. The French Open without Nadal is like a symphony without a conductor. Our reigning champ, our 14-time victor, including a glorious win in 2022, absent from the French Open. It's like a royal court without the king, a jungle without the lion. But even kings sometimes need to rest, and even lions sometimes need to lick their wounds. Second thing, I'm gonna stop for, um, for a while, maybe two months, maybe one month and a half, maybe three months, maybe four months, I, I don't know. I... Amidst the wave of withdrawals and the shadows of uncertainty, a somber news echoed across the tennis sphere, a news that hit us harder than Nadal's top spin laden forehand. Following his withdrawal from the French Open, the lingering hip injury prompted the Matador of Tennis to make a heart-wrenching announcement, the planned end to his illustrious career. Next year, that's probably going to be my, my, my last year uh, in a professional tour. No? That's my idea. When the news came, it was like a moonlit serenade ending abruptly. The music stopped, the song left unfinished. After all, 
This is a man who has left unforgettable imprints on the sands of the tennis landscape, a player who transformed the game with his unique blend of grit, grace and grandeur. Indeed, as we digest the news of Nadal's impending retirement and his absence from the French Open, echoes of solidarity and well-wishes have resonated across the tennis world. A particularly poignant message came from the keyboard of Carlos Alcaraz, the young Spanish hotshot tipped by many as the successor to Nadal's clay court throne. Today, Alcaraz took to Twitter, expressing his sentiments with a heartfelt tweet. Good luck, Rafael. Very painful and sad for everyone that you can't be at Roland Garros or play more this year, but I hope that 2024 will be a great season for you and that you can say goodbye like the great champion you are. Let's get to your sport and Rafael Nadal has declared next year will likely be his last of professional tennis. It's a public digital embrace, a virtual pat on the back from one Spaniard to another, from one generation to the next. This sincere tribute showcases not only the high esteem in which Alcaraz holds Nadal, but also the profound impact the latter has had on his compatriots and the sport at large. It further amplifies the depth of Nadal's legacy and the void he will leave behind. This tweet, a simple yet powerful gesture, brings forth the sense of camaraderie and respect that permeates the world of tennis. The retirement of Rafael Nadal is more than just the end of a player's career. It's the sunset of an era. The era of thrilling rallies and heart-stopping matches, of the intoxicating blend of power and precision that Nadal brought to the court. His legacy is one of tireless determination, supreme sportsmanship, and an indomitable will to win. But more than anything, it's proof of the spirit of a true champion who fought, fell, rose, and fought again over and over. Nadal's exit would not just leave a vacancy in the tennis roster, but also a colossal gap in our hearts. Yet, we must remember that while players retire, legends do not. And Rafael Nadal is no less than a legend. We may not see him unleash his devastating left-hand shots or watch him slide gracefully on the clay anymore, but we'll always remember the man who made every game an unforgettable spectacle. So, as we stand on the precipice of this potentially game-changing moment, as the sands of time threaten to close this chapter, we must keep in our minds the many golden moments that Nadal gifted us. From his stunning victory at his French Open debut in 2005, to the magical wins that followed, each chapter of Nadal's career has been a thrilling story of resilience and straight-up passion. So here's to Rafael Nadal, the matador of tennis, the king of clay, and to all the unforgettable moments that he brought to the court. And while we await the verdict on his return, let's ponder the never give up attitude he displayed and the sheer love for the game he demonstrated. Remember, in tennis as in life, it's not just about how hard you can hit, but also how much you can take and keep moving forward. So let's take a page after Nadal's book and embrace the challenges with tenacity and vigor. Now, fellow tennis lovers, it's your turn to serve. What was your favorite Nadal moment? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And that, my friends, is game, set, and match for this episode of Glam Slam Tennis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of the action and what we have in store. Until next time, stay fabulous and ace those serves.